Hey everyone my name is Abhishek and welcome to another episode of Creative Tuesdays and in today's video we are going to create this colorful gradient text reveal animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin So before I begin if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this So without wasting any further ado let's jump into After Effects and get started All right, so right now I'm in After Effects and as always we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp. Let's call this gradient 1 and width and height I'm going to set this to 1000 by 1000. Frame rate 30 fps and duration let's go with 20 seconds. Just click on okay. And now we are going to create some shapes over here. So for that I'm going to select the ellipse tool and let's just simply go inside the composition and i'm going to just click and drag you can hold on the shift key to make it a perfect circle and also you can hold on the control key or command key if you're on mac to make it scale from the center something like this and let's create this something around here and we can also align it using the align panel so let's do that if you're not able to see this align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it Now let's quickly select this and I'm going to change its color. So let's make this little bit of blue something like this. Just click on okay. Also I'm going to enable the stroke. So let's add some stroke and also let's change its color to something like this. Now again we are going to add more circles to this. So let's select the ellipse tool again and now I'm going to create another circle something like this and on this one I'm going to remove the stroke and let's just set this to 0 and i'm going to make this little bit darker like this also let's align it to the center and let's scale it little bit something around here now i'm going to select the ellipse tool once again and i'm going to create a circle somewhere around here and let's change its color to this color and in the same way let's create one circle over here Now this is completely random you can create wherever you want and however big you want the circle to be and let's select the ellipse tool and let's create one circle over here and this one i'm going to change its color to white now we can quickly select all of these layers by pressing control a then press u to collapse them now we can select one of these layers and let's select the pan anchor tool and now i'm going to move the anchor point to the center so first let's enable the title action save After that you can just simply select the anchor point and let's move them to the center of this comp now let's select this and let's move this to the center just to the same thing for all of these three circles which are outside now we can select one of these and let's press R for rotation Now you can hold on the alt key or option key if you are on Mac then you can click on this stopwatch and it will give you a place where you can write the expression so we are going to type a simple wiggle expression and under the brackets we are going to type point 1 comma 100 now let's copy this expression let's select the second layer press R again hold on the alt key let's paste this and over here i'm going to change this to 60 and let's set this to point 2 let's select the third layer again press r let's hold down the alt key let's paste it and let's change this to something like 80 let's set this to point 2 as well so now if i play back here you can see we have this random animation over here now if you want you can select any of these and let's randomly rotate this so there you go now we have this sort of look and let's select all of these layers and let's press u to collapse them now i'm going to add a gaussian blur on top of this so for that i'm going to right click go to new and let's add an adjustment layer and on this one we are going to apply a effect called gaussian blur so just search for it just drag it onto this layer and let's increase the blurriness let's set this to something like 200 and let's uncheck this repeat edge pixel like this So you can see that we have this sort of animation. Now we are going to create another composition. So let's go to composition, new comp, and let's call this main. For this one, we are going to set this to 1920 by 1080. All the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now we can quickly import our gradient into this comp. Now we can again select the ellipse tool. Just make sure that none of the layer is selected, and we are going to create a 
ellipse over here so just click in the center and you can hold down the shift key and control key or command key if you're on mac then just create a circle something like this and after that we can select this and let's move it below now you can select the gradient and we can set the mat for this layer so let's search for set mat effect just drag it onto the gradient layer and from here we are going to first change the gradient layer so let's set this to the shape layer and after that you can see that we have created a mask but it is not of proper size so we can fix that by simply selecting the layer then we can right click let's go to transform and from here you can set the fit to comp or you can press the shortcut so now you can see we have this proper set mat and we can probably select the layer let's hide this and we can select both of these layers let's color them so that we can easily identify them let's make them pink now i'm going to add more details to this so we can select the gradient layer and we can right click and let's go to the layer style and let's add inner glow let's go under the inner glow and from here we are going to change a couple of these properties so first i'm going to change the blending mode from screen to overlay then let's select the color and i'm going to pick the something like this let's go with this cyan look and after that we are going to increase the size so let's crank this up to something like 120 there you go i think this is looking fine you can play around with these values however you want let's set this to 70 for now now we are going to create another layer style so let's select this right click go to layer style and this time we are going to add inner shadow after that let's open up the inner shadow and from here first we are going to change the color so let's set this to white and under the multiply let's set this to screen opacity let's set this to 100 and size let's increase this to something like 80 yeah i think this is looking fine so these values are completely experimental you can play around with them and you can just simply pick whatever look you want you can also increase the distance if you want to go with this look you can also rotate its angle something like this but for now we are going to set this to 5 and 120 so now if i select this and if i play back here you can see we have our circle and if you want you can play around with its color so you can just simply select this and let's go inside the comp and for now let's disable the adjustment layer now you can select any of these circles let's press s and scale this up now you can place them wherever you want just make sure that your anchor point is once again in the center something like this and if i go back just don't forget to enable this adjustment layer if i go back here you can see that we have this really nice gradient you can see that this white area is representing this white circle so in the same way you can play around with any of these and you can just move them wherever you want and it will appear in your animation something like this there you go so for now let's just undo this yeah i think this is looking fine so now let's create a background so let's go to layer just make sure you are inside the com or you can right click over here as well let's create a solid let's call this bg for background just click on ok i'm going to select this layer and pre place it at the bottom now we are going to apply a four color gradient on top of this so just search for it and let's drag it and we can probably change the colors so let's tweak and change the colors to something like this let's set this to white and let's pick somewhere around here and for this i think this is a nice color let's go with this now we can zoom in by simply using the mouse scroll and then you can play around with these points and you can make the colors look lighter or darker however you want so yeah, i think this is looking fine now we can select this and we can apply one more effect on top of this let's apply drop shadow so just search for it drop shadow and let's drag it onto this and one more thing if you notice that i'm working in a 16-bit channel so if you are working in a different workspace then it might look different so if you want to have proper gradient then you can either select 32 bit or 16 bit but for this example 16 works the best now let's play with the drop shadow and i'm going to first lower down its opacity to something like 
15 and let's increase the distance and let's crank up the softness as well so you can see that we have added a very nice shadow over here so yeah i think this is looking perfect so before we continue further if you guys are enjoying this tutorial then make sure to press that like button and please leave a comment it will encourage me to create more awesome content for you guys so now let's continue this tutorial and let's see how we can add multiple of these balls so for that we can select these layers select both of these layers then you can press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's select them and let's move it on top of it let's change their color to something like green and after that we are going to go under the projects panel and over here i'm going to select the gradient one let's press ctrl d over here as well so that you can see that it will create a gradient to comp and i'm going to select this gradient one inside the main composition then you can select this and if you hold on the alt key or option key on your mac then you can just simply drag this and just drag it onto this layer and you can see that it will replace the gradient one with this gradient tool now we can probably select this and under here let's disable the adjustment layer we can just simply change the colors so let's select this layer and i'm going to quickly make this now this is completely experimental you can play around with the any of these colors so i think this is looking fine if you want you can select this press r and let's change little bit of their orientation let's place it over here let's move it somewhere around here and we can select this and let's move it something like this so there you go now we have this look and if i enable the gaussian blur and let's go back to the main comp here you can see we have created a different look now we can select this and if you want you can select this and press s to scale this up now on this one we are going to change couple of the properties so first let's go under the layer style under the inner glow over here you can change the color so let's make it a little bit brighter and let's go under the inner shadow and we can play around with this color as well but for now let's set this to white only now these parameters are completely experimental so again you can just play around with them let's increase the opacity now if you don't like the look then again you can go inside this comp and from here you can just play around with whatever values you want just randomly select them and move them wherever you want and let's select this and make this a more brighter color so if i go back there you go now we have this and we can probably select this and let's move it somewhere around here and we can also select this gradient and let's move it somewhere around here now we can select this press s and let's scale this quite a bit something like this and let's select this i'm going to select this white one which is this let's press r and let's rotate it somewhere around here there you go now we have this really nice white edge and we can probably scale this down there you go now we have this really nice white edge so again we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's change its color so for this one i'm going to set this to brown and once again we are going to select the gradient to comp press ctrl d to duplicate it and again let's select this hold down the alt key or option key if you are on mac then replace these two comp just like this now let's go under the gradient comp and again i'm going to change couple of these colors and if i enable the gaussian blur and let's go back we can probably select this press s let's scale this down and we can move it somewhere around here and on this one as well we can go under the layer style and let's change the glow color and we are going to make this bright yellow something like this so if i click ok here you can see we have this really nice gradient and let's select this i'm going to select this white one and let's place it in the middle somewhere yeah i think this is looking fine so it's completely up to you you can just go ahead and play around with these colors and it will give you a really nice look so once you're happy with the design we can probably animate these so first i'm going to select any of these gradient let's press p for position hold down the alt key and let's type wiggle over here as well and on this one i'm going to type 0.2 comma 100 let's copy this 
let's select these two layers press p and let's add expression to these as well paste this and let's set this to 200 and also this to 0.2 let's select this press p and we are going to change the value to 0.2 comma 100 let's see what we have so now you can see we have added these random animations to this now if you feel like this is too white then again you can go inside the comp and let's select this white one and we can just place it somewhere around here there you go now we have less white so our last step is to add the text so you can select the text tool and just click wherever you want after that it's completely up to you you can type whatever you want 14 pro max just like in the example and it's completely up to you you can select this and let's make it darker now you can align this into the center of this comp as well there you go now we have the custom text and we have the gradient balls if you want to animate the overall scene then you can add a null object so go to layer new null object then you can select these three gradient layers and just parent it to the null let's select this press s and add a keyframe for scale and in the beginning let's scale this up now you can select the keyframes press f9 or right click go to keyframe assistant easy is them then let's go under the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph let's select the endpoint and let's change the graph to look something like this so if i play back here you can see we have these animated gradient balls now if you don't like the position of any of these then you can just simply select that layer and just move it wherever you want you can also scale its size now at last if you want to add some text animation to this then you can follow this tutorial of mine in this i have explained completely how you can create custom text animation using the animation property so link for that is in the description below or you can click over here so now let's quickly animate this so i'm going to select this and let's go under the animate and let's animate its position let's set this to 200 Let's go under the range selector and let's add a keyframe for offset. Set this to negative 100. Let's move around one second. Let's set this to 100. Let's go under the advance and from here first change the shape to ramp up. Set the ease low to 100 percent something like this. Here you can see we have this really amazing text animation. Let's increase the distance. Also we can animate the scale. So let's go to animate scale and let's set this to zero so now if i play back here you can see we have this animation we can select the keyframes press f9 and we can change this in the graph as well so there you go now we have a little bit faster animation so we can select this and let's extend this you can enable the motion blur and let's enable the motion blur for the comp as well so if i play back here you can see we have our custom text animation and we also have these gradient balls so this is how you can create these kind of animation and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below also the project file for this tutorial are available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and some exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one